Hello everyone, welcome to PCT Lecture 8. Today we will discuss uh, unsymmetrical faults. And uh, instead of uh, going through details, we will discuss directly a numerical example so that it will be easier for you to follow. So this is our example. We consider a two generator system and the generators they are connecting with each other via two transformers T1 and T2. T1 is a Y to Y connection with the neutral connected to ground. T2 is Y to delta connection with the neutral on the primary side connecting to the ground. T1 and T2 they are connecting to each other um, via two lines, line 1 and line 2, like this. The neutral of generator 1 and generator 2 they are also connected to ground via a 0.3 PU reactor like this. So the generators are not loaded and they are running at the rated frequency and voltage with their EMS uh, in phase with positive sequence. So you can imagine that the voltage here will be one PU everywhere in the common base because the voltage they are in phase not loaded and they are in phase. The equipment data are given like this. So we have the PU for zero sequence, PU for positive sequence and PU for negative sequence in comparison with the base of each device. Uh, for light 1 and light 2 we have the impedance value already or the reactance value already. So now um, we have a fault occur here it, in the middle of light 1 and light 2 and the Z fault is uh, J16 ohm. We need to calculate the fault current in case of a single line to ground fold, a line to line fold and double line to ground fold. So next uh, we uh, convert everything to a new base. This is just a review of lecture 2. Here um, we choose a new base of uh, 50 MVA. The voltage is referred to the voltage on uh, zone 1 here with 25 kV and then the other zone will have the voltage followed by the turn ratio of the transformers. The uh, zero sequence impedance is like this and together with the zero sequence impedance we have the uh, connection between the neutral to the ground and we have the value for generator 1, the Z2 and uh, transformer 1 and transformer 2. The transformer 1 we have the uh, short circuit between neutral and ground so it is zero for both sides primary and secondary. For transformer 2 only the primary side has the connection. The um, secondary side is delta so it is not connected to the ground therefore the reactance here is infinity and also we have the uh, positive sequence and negative sequence uh, reactance for each case because of our assumption in the problem um, there is no current flow in this circuitry before the uh, fall happen there is no load so uh, the line has no uh, power in it and therefore the preferred condition is that the voltage everywhere equal 1 PU. Next we draw the Thevenin equivalent diagram for positive sequence uh, for the case of balance flow that we did before. So it will look like this and 
we see that now we need to calculate the Thevenin's equivalent impedance by looking at this point in the middle and the equivalent impedance here is the uh, this branch in parallel with this branch and the total impedance will be given like this next uh, we look at the Thevenin equivalent diagram for ne negative sequence in the balance circuit and it will look like this. The only difference here we can see is that the value for the reactances X they are different and applying the same calculation we will get the Z Thevenin's in negative sequence for the circuitry. So next we need to draw the Thevenin equivalent diagram for the zero sequence. So uh, for zero sequence, the difference appear at the neutral to the ground connection. For zero one and zero two, it is the three times the uh, neutral to ground connectors, and we have a new impedance appear here. Um, for the um, Y to Y transformer uh, with the, the two. Uh, connecting to ground, we don't have anything appear here. But for the uh, transformer that has uh, the uh, Y delta construction, we have a new situation here where the Y connection actually going to the ground here via the transformer impedance. But on the other side, we have an open circuit situation. So in this case, um, the Zevenin's equivalent impedance is actually this branch and this branch in parallel. And therefore we can calculate the total impedance like this. So now we look at a single line to ground fold, uh, considering phase A is connecting to ground. The equivalent circuitry in the um, sequence network R012 world is like this. And because we assume positive uh, sequence, so the Thevenin's voltage will appear here on a uh, positive sequence side. So here everything is connected uh, in uh, series. So the equivalent impedance here is just the sum of everything. And we can see that IA1 equal IA0 equal IA2 here. So everything will equal the VTH over um, the total impedance here. And after that, we convert everything back to our uh, real world by multiplying this uh, 0, 1, 2 currents in PU with the rotation matrix A. In the end, we have uh, IA is 3 times the I, uh, A0 here, and IB and IC has no currents. So IA here, if we multiply the PU value with the base current, we can get the actual value like this. Um, then we have a look at the line to line fold. In this case, it's B to C. So we can see that line A is not faulty, so the current I A is zero. In this case, the equivalent network for the sequence is like this. And you can see that the zero sequence current is zero. The current A uh, for positive sequence will equal this uh, Thevenin voltage over everything in series like this and the current in phase uh, in, in the negative sequence is actually the reverse direction so it is minus of 
IFA1 here In after that we put it back to this one and then we uh, multiply it with the rotation matrix and then we get the answer like this so you can see that IFA is zero so there is no full current here but the current that flow here is from phase B to phase C so phase B has a negative current so finally we look at the double line to ground fault in this case we have phase B sorted to phase C and then connecting to the ground via the Z fold. And here the um, in the sequence network we have a new um, e equivalent circuitry like this. In this case we assume positive sequence voltage so the uh, terminal voltage appear here on the uh, positive sequence equivalent circuitry and here we need to calculate the total impedance of the network which is uh, Z1 in series with this whole network and this whole network is Z2 in parallel with Z0 plus 3Z4 like this so the formula is quite simple the current IA1 for the full current equal the VTH1 over the total impedance for IA2 we need to apply the current division rule we have a formula for that one and then we can calculate the total current that go through the uh, negative sequence network here notice that this one has a minus because our current has a negative sign here and finally for the zero sequence current we can apply KCL here to find the zero sequence uh, current and after that we convert it back to the real world by multiplying it with the rotation matrix A. The current here that goes from the fold position to the ground is actually given by KCL in the real world and it's the sum of IB and IC here and therefore we can calculate the answer like this and last but not least um, we can also use our uh, impedance matrix for symmetrical components so basically instead of using uh, Z terminals we can directly calculate the sequence bus matrix Z bus 1, Z bus 2, Z bus 0 from our uh, sequence network and for different four cases, if the location of the fold is on a K bus, we can get the Tevinin's impedance ZTH from the sequence bus matrix as uh, ZKK012. Uh, and after that, we can calculate the fold based on our Z Tevinin's here from the uh, Z bus uh, matrix by applying the uh, equivalent uh, network like we just did after that we can find the symmetrical components of the i bus voltage in the uh, zero sequence uh, network or in the positive sequence or negative sequence network as follows so you can see that we are multiplying the full current with the Z I K in the Z bus matrix 
and because uh, we have our uh, positive sequence at the point is so the uh, VI appear here the tabulating voltage will appear here and after calculating the uh, burst voltage in the um, sequence network we can continue with the calculating of bus uh, current between um, bus I and bus J using this formula so notice that this one the ZIJ here is the sequence impedance from the network uh, circuitry not from the Z bus it is quite similar with the symmetrical uh, fold case but now we analyze it in the Z bus uh, of the sequence and uh, the currents for the uh, positive sequence and zero sequence look similar and after that we can convert the uh, zero sequence currents 0, 1, 2 to uh, the ABC current by multiplying the vector here with the rotation matrix A This is the end of our lecture For your homework, please practice tutorial 8